Debbie with Kip's Corner. Welcome back. Uh, it's been a minute and I am still working on the step-by-step, -step, um, not step-by-step, -step, the um, <laughs> beginning to end, start to finish. Yeah, start to finish. The start to finish black and white journal. This is the cover that we've gotten done so far. And I have since decided the end papers that I'm going to use. So these will be the end papers. And so you'll open it up, pocket, you know, blah, blah, blah. So those will go on last and I, this is now set aside. I also have gathered up a lot of the pages that I think I'm going to use. I'll decide as I go through. Um, I've got a couple of these little Tim Holtz wallpaper just folded in half, cut up a little bit. And on the inside I have um, just a little bit of, get that right there, a little bit of, of journaling spots added and, and tiny little piece, uh, that's a sticker actually, it's cute, with a little bit of cheesecloth behind it. And then this one also has a piece from, from one of Tracy's kits. Then I've got this, this gorgeous paper, it's a handmade paper. And I want to put this in the book, but the back side, as you can see, you can see through it. So I decided to add some, this is just some craft masking paper, paint masking paper, and um, just a little, little bit of a collage there. And then on the other side, I also have a little bit of a collage. So that one's ready to go. And then I've just got some tea dyed papers here. I've rounded all the corners, so those are ready to go. And I, Probably won't need all of those, but I've got them ready. Some some printouts from some digital images that I've found. And then, of course, the um, pages from Tracy's Silhouette Kit. There are six here, um, and they're backed with her. She's got backing papers that come with them. So I have those ready to go, too. And these are, let's see, what are these from? I think these are from, I'll have to double check, but I believe the, the black and white bird images are from the Graphics Fairy. And then I've just backed them also with just some, um, just some papers, digital papers. This is a page from a tree book that I have where all the images are black and white. And it just so happened to just trim down nicely, both sides. These are, um, this is a, it's a paper, it's called Paperscapes, and there's a series. There's butterflies, birds, flowers, and trees. And what I did is I went through and found some of the white slash back and white images from, from those books, just a couple of them, four of them, as a matter of fact, and I've attached them. I've used washi tape on both sides and have, just put two, two sides together, inked them up, and these are ready to use as well. The washi tape was glued down, so we should have, um, should be good there. This is just some scrapbook paper backed with um, a printout. No, that's actually not a printout. That's from a book I have, a little butterfly book. Another handmade paper that's very pretty. This is a page from an Edith Holden book. Um, that I've just got trimmed down and ready to go. This is a page from a coloring book. This is a cardstock. All the pages in the whole book are cardstock. And I have just gone into the center and created pockets here. And that's ready to go. So what I'm doing now is just going through and finishing up the stack of papers. Once I've got all of those ready to go, the actual inserts, I'll figure out the order they go in and which signatures they all go in, and then I will um, start working on pockets and tags and ephemera and, and, and whatnot to go inside the book. So that's where I am. You're all caught up. Today I've got, well actually before I before I do this, I want to show you something that I've been playing with. I'm kind of excited. I've got them over here. Um, 
prompted by uh, posts in some of my Facebook groups, I decided to pull my Cricut out and see if I could have, if I could successfully use the print and cut feature. So on the Cricut, it's you, you print the image and then it basically scans it for you and then it comes back in and cuts it. And looky, looky, looky. Here, let me show you a couple of these. Look at how intricate and tiny that is. Um, here, let's do this. Let me put them on here. You can see, hopefully that's focusing. There is no way I would ever be able to cut that much detail and that fine. So the Cricut did a great job. These are images from the Graphics Fairy. So I just went through my Graphics Fairy file and just found some things that I thought would work. Um, I learned that, you know, there are some images that when you get too small, of course, they're not gonna work. This one came really close to not, this one came really close to not working. But, and then I did different sizes of things, some big ones and some little ones. There's bird and a butterfly. The antenna on the butterfly didn't work. It was too fine. I had to, those kind of came off, but I'll draw them back on when I use it. Anyway, kind of excited about that. And I also had a digital tag image that I created in, in three different sizes. So those are, are ready to go. So it was a lot of fun and it worked. And so now I'm inspired to do, to do more. I'm not using, well, I might use some of that, but I'm not planning to use those in this journal. Oh, maybe these black and white images. Maybe that one. Um, and here's the, oh, here's the other thing I did. This is what I will use in this journal. This is sunflowers, and I went in and cut, and you can see all the detail. That's a good view of the cut detail. No way would I have ever been able to do that by hand. No way. Not happening. So I'm really excited about that. And I will use this somewhere in the journal. And I went over the top of it with ink after, after it cut. So, so there's that. Yay. Okay, today I've got, so I've got a couple envelopes here. This uh, craft, brown craft envelopes. And I've cut um, some paper that is, actually it'll probably go like this that fits two of those, one for each envelope. I've cut some pieces, some small pieces that can fit right in here. Two of those, one for each envelope. And then I've set aside and begun creating some things for some collage. So what I'm going to do today is make an envelope folder. I've never done this before. Um, just gotten the pieces ready to go, so bear with me as I sort of figure out what I'm doing. I think I've got it figured out. I'm not sure. Basically, what's going to happen is these two envelopes are going to go together, and then it'll create a pocket, double pockets, pockets on this side and this side, quadruple pockets, and this side and this side, and, um, and then that it can get sewn into a signature. So, let's just get started. Uh, I think what I want to start with is getting these two pieces together. So if that slips in there like that, and I have just a little tiny space here on both sides, I think that would work. Yep, that would work. And I've already inked up the this envelope. Got it. Went ahead and got the edges inked up. All right, so let's try that. So that means I need glue here. I'm going to use... Um, it's my Fabrifix, Fabri-Tac, three in one. They're pretty much all the same because it doesn't. It, it allows me a minute to move things around, as opposed to some of the other glues. If it will come out, there it goes. And so I will have more time to kind of get this situated inside. So that's the plan. We're sticking with it. Maybe plans change. That's okay. Okay. I think that'll be enough. And I'm just going to slip this guy right in here. Well, that went in easier than I thought it would. Try to line that up. And now I can press this down. Let's get my, get my stuff 
off to the side here. Let me make sure this still folds. And it does. Okay. And so far so good, right? No bleeding. All right, now let's glue this one down. Like I said, I have no idea if I'm doing this the right way. But I guess I'm, I assume it's just like most other things. There's not a perfect right way or wrong way to do these things. We all have different takes on them. And then that should fold right down. Yay, see I didn't even need the extra time Okay, all right, now, the next thing I want to do, yeah, so now I've got my little folded piece of the envelopes. The next thing I wanna do is I want to slip this right in here, like so. And I know I need to leave just a little bit of space right there at that edge again so that we close without any problems so let's start with that ah okay <laughs> this might be where this extra having some extra time for the glue comes into play and i want to get as close to the edge because this is this will be the inside this will be what peeks through with the pocket and so I want to get this glued down nicely so as you're pulling things in and out of the pocket, you don't catch on it. All right. Keep your fingers crossed here. Okay. So far, so good. Now I just got to get it straight. Um, and I want to remember, I want to leave an edge. A slight little... Okay, I think that's it. By George, I think we've got, oh, oops, I'm shaking the camera, sorry. And I don't feel any glue on the inside, so I think I've got that, okay? So I might, actually, I probably could have lined these before I glued them together, but that's, that's you know, like I said, not a right or wrong. Now I'm going to do the other side like that. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh. Get lots of glue. Not too. I mean, not too too much. But again, I want to get. I want this to kind of get to the edges nicely, so that when you're putting things in and out pulling things in and out of the folder. Uh, I got a little bit of glue on that, but that's to be expected considering what I'm trying to do here. And I think that gives me an, enough room. Okay, I'll get my glue off of here. that's straight straight enough right and I do not feel any glue on the inside so now I've got those pockets lined and it still folds okay next okay these pieces I've cut to fit just inside my craft so you'll kind of see just a tiny little bit of a craft border there and I intentionally made deeper what I would call deeper than normal you know um, I don't know what that's called notches <laughs> half circle punch um, a little bit more than half circle actually in this case because I wanted I wanted some of this stripe to show through so I made it bigger so that it would um, and that'll go there and this one will go there and that'll pretty much be the inside. I'll probably do more. Let's see, do I wanna, 
I think I want to flip these like this. Don't ask me why, because I don't really think it matters. Okay, so let's do that. Up in there. Okay, so there we have it. Inside done. Um, and I'm going to probably, I've got some of these, um, these are like a vellum, they're, they're stickers, and I put a little ink on the outside, they're black and white vellum stickers, and I think I will put some in here, but I want to back them with something, um, I don't know what yet, maybe, let's see, maybe some music paper, something. So I'm gonna come back to that because I know that I wanna do a little something of that. All right, so now I've got the back side and I want to do a little something, something back here too. And so what I've got, these are some book pages. This is a book page that I've just torn out and ripped the edges to about the right size. And then I've got a piece of craft card stock here. This is um, an old book and it, it sort of, uh, disintegrates <laughs> when you, you you touch it too much or fold it or you know bend it or anything like that so what I did on this one is I, uh, I ripped the pages inked up the sides put my notch in here well actually before I did the notch and I just backed it with this this craft card stock That'll give it the stability it needs. And the cardstock I've trimmed just slightly smaller than the whole size. So that when I glue this on, I'll be able to create a pocket that you can use and go in and out of without destroying the book page. So that's the plan and I'm sticking with it. Um, and then I'll collage on top of this. Now what I, gotta, what I need to decide, this is in a book like that. Do I want the pocket here? On this side yeah I do okay so let's put this one here and then this one will go here with the notch here yep that's what I want to do okay well let's here let's back up got some stuff over here over here off to the side that I'm gonna use for for collaging but before I do that let me get let me get this inked up didn't do that beforehand so let me get this inked up a little bit here and I will get this book page glued to the cardstock and then I'm gonna have I'll have these two pieces that I can collage and play with a little bit before I glue them down to create the pockets so let's do that it is an ugly ugly rainy day here it's thundering, a little bit of lightning. Okay. All right, that's good. In this case, I'm going to put my glue on top of the cardstock instead of the paper so I don't have to. Um, don't have to worry about the edges so much. So yeah, it's ugly, rainy. Hope you're having better weather where, where you are because we do not need the rain. It has been a very wet spring in the middle of the states. Okay. So what I wanna do is position this so, it doesn't really matter if it's on here straight. Um, yeah, I guess it does a little bit, but the key here is that I don't want any of the cardstock showing through behind or in, you know, in front of, I have a piece of glue on my thumb, showing through. I want to hide it and basically, and I think that that does the trick. So we'll give that a good push. And somewhere around here, I've got a punch to create my notch. 
And I said I wanted it on, you know, when you have a gluey, oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big claps of thunder caused the dogs to bark. <coughs> Sounds like the sky is falling. Okay. <coughs> uh, I'm just going to eyeball this to get it in the center at about the halfway mark here. Pop that out and then I will um, give that some ink on that side too. Okay. <coughs> Nice, there we go. So that's how those are going to lay down on the paper. All right, now, I've got some collage pieces here that I've been playing with a bit. And so I'll tell you what I was thinking of doing and you tell me if you think this is a good idea or not, right? I'm gonna get that straight. Huh straight. I want to get something straight. Maybe I should glue. You know what? I think I'm going to glue the pockets down first. Let's do that. Let's glue these down to the page first. So there's a lot of thunder going on right now. And dogs, mine anyway, do not like thunder. And they like to bark every single time. So if I have weird stops and starts in the video, it's because I've tried to edit out the barking, the thunder barking. All right, let's get this the right side up. I guess there's really not a right side on that side, is there? And get this laid on here. Sort of centered. I don't think it's really hugely important that it be dead on by any means. I'm pretty sure that I didn't rip that anywhere near straight, so so it shouldn't matter. Oh, I do want that side to be a little bit straighter. There we go. That's better. Get that off of there. All right. And now I should have a little pocket here, right? Like so. So that will, that'll be fun. We'll find something to put in there. Uh, let's do the other side too. And then I'll do the two collage sides sort of simultaneously. Just going down the edge. Make sure I get good coverage on those corners. And make sure the two, <laughs> make sure I got the two sides correct. Kind of come in that just a little bit. Straighten her up just a little bit. Yeah, I, yeah, clearly that pocket's not straight straight, but I think that that's good, good enough. Good enough. And maybe I come up just a little bit on this one. Okay. All right, same here. Should be now. I got a pocket right here. As soon as that dries, we'll be able to put something in it. Okie doke. All right, next. Okay, so next I want to, I've got some things torn and I did kind of pre-play, pre pre-play, is that a word? Pre-play? Pre-play a little. And I'll show you what I'm thinking, if I can remember. <laughs> that's the, yeah, that's the trick. I think I'm like this. Maybe those lines probably, or the stripes, oops, should be up straight up and down. And then I've got this little butterfly. This is from, this butterfly is in the silhouette kit from Tracy and I just fussy cut it out. 
and I'm thinking that this side looks something like that. And over here, I'm thinking that we do the opposite side, like so. And this is just a circle punch from, from one of my papers. I think I've actually got some of this paper in as a, as a full sheet in the book. I'm just kind of, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of want a little bit of sorry silk. This is black sorry silk. And I think that I would, I might run that, run that edge across the sewing machine. And maybe this guy is on there, something like this. I don't know. Got to play with it a little. Something along those lines. I think that works. Um, let's see, I've got some more sorry. Don't know if we want some more sorry on here. Maybe just a little tiny piece. Maybe. Here, let's cut this down and see. Scissors, scissors, where are you? They're buried. You should see my table. It is <laughs> really bad. I need to just, it's just been a crazy week, which is why I have not been here. Um, but I just need to stop, clean up, something like that maybe, 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 maybe like that. I kind of think that's starting to work. Okay, let's play. Let's glue. Let's actually, let's do that. Um... Before I glue down anything other than the sorry silk, I want to, I think I wanna, I'm just gonna put a dab of glue just to hold this in place. Just put a little tiny bit here. And then I'm gonna let that dry nicely. Then I'm gonna run a stitch down it then I will put the other pieces on top. And I think the stitching will show enough that that ought to look good. Okay, that's that side. And I see I've got some glue here. Let me get that off. Okay, so this side, I don't need, do I wanna, do I wanna do some stitching? Nah, nah, let's just glue that down. Let's just put that little guy right there. So I've already inked the edges of these pieces. Um, and just earlier, I just um, you know, kind of tore up some things and cut some circles and just was playing around with composition and, and what I liked. And then I went ahead and inked them up. So it doesn't mean that that's what I'm gonna end up with. But <laughs> mm, we'll see. But that's, that's got a little glob on it. That's, a, that's, you know, that's normal. For me anyway, I guess that's normal for everybody. I kind of get this idea, but then when I go to actually put it together, I reserve the right to change my mind. Kind of what this to look like. I'm gonna line these up just a tiny bit down here where they meet, just so it looks like it's kind of all one. All right. That looks, that works. Thank you. Um, I think, let's see, let's mess with this first. Let's mess with this first. Maybe I do want to glue that. Maybe I want that to, here, well, I do want to glue it now, so let me put that there. Let's get just enough glue on there to hold it down. And now I think, oh, guess I'm not gonna sew, duh, I just glued it all down. Okay, that's all right. I wanna tuck this kind of there so that sorry silk piece is partly on both of them. I think that's fun. But I also wanna make sure there's no glue showing here. Okay, so, whoops, so let's, 
Let's glue that down. Hopefully it'll at least stop thundering soon. I think nobody likes thunder. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna tuck that up underneath there a tiny bit. There we go. Don't ask me why. I'm doing that. I just am. And then we're going to attempt to get these lines straight with the edge. I could pull my ruler out and measure it, but no. It's so much more fun to eyeball it. Live on the edge. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't think that's straight. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, and then I've got the little butterfly and the little label, which is also from, uh, I think it's from Silhouette. I'd have to, I'll have to look. So I just have to figure out, do I want those touching? I kind of like that. Or do I want this down here and these two kind of off in their own merry land, not connected to the sari? See, this is where I, hmm. Decisions, decisions, right? I kind of like that better. But I also like the butterfly peeking out over, out over the circle. So I think that works. All right, let's put the little baby label on here first. These little tiny labels are so cute. And they're just big enough to put something on if somebody wanted to come in here and and write on it on you know like a, a person's name or initials or date that'd be cool you could put a date on there you could date um whatever the ephemera or you know whatever you've put in the pocket and put a date on the outside to go with it that would be that's a neat idea maybe i'm sure everybody has other ideas and we're going to line this up kind of here. Actually, let's come over. Let's cross that plane just a tiny bit more. There we go. Give it a little bit more visual interest. Okay. And is that straight? Probably not. <laughs> is it straight? All right. And then let's put Mr. Butterfly on there. Do we want him... Flying away. Or do we want him headed out in this direction? That's that works. I'm going to take a little I'm gonna take what's left of my thumbnail here and just bend right here at the body, bend these wings just a tiny bit. And then I'm going to put the majority of my glue on the body so that my wings have a little bit of dimension to them. Now, when, you know, truth is, when they're in the book, um, middle of a book, they're going to get flattened out, but they'll still have that flexibility to, you know, to, to fly. <laughs> Flying wings. And I'm going to use um, the art glitter glue on these because I think it's going to work better to adhere quickly so my butterfly doesn't fly away. Ha <laughs> ha, no flying away. Okay, let's get that nice and on there. And I think I was saying something about like that. There we go. And once that dries, I can kind of bend those guys, those wings up just a little bit. I actually can do it now, can't I? There we go. So see, it just gives it a little bit of a visual interest. So here you go. You've got this little label here that is not straight. Um, there, that's better, I think. You guys can probably see it better than I can. Uh, we've got, got the little label that you could put a date or, you know, just a couple words on there that'd be cute and that side I'm gonna call done there we go okay on the other side 
we're going to be similar but different. And keep in mind, this will be stitched into um, one of the signatures. And so these two pages will, will be in different spots. They'll be in the same signature, but they'll be in different spots in the book. So you'll flip to this, and there'll be pages in the middle, and then you'll see this. Um, so this will be, yeah. Let me make sure that's gonna fold okay. I may have to take my bone folder and give this, now that everything is pretty much dry, I'm not squishing glue. I'm gonna give this just a good mash. And likewise on here. There we go, that's better. Yeah, that folds a little better. Okay, so next, And then I'll probably, I'm, you know, I don't, I probably won't put anything. Uh, well, we'll see whether or not I put something in that or not. Okay, pocket, 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 pocket. Let's do the other side. And the other side, I want to stitch. So I'm going to pause the video. I think that's dry enough. I'm going to pause the video and come back after I've got this, a stitch line through here. And hopefully that stitch line, I'll go all the way top to bottom and it will, it'll still show. Okay. All right. We got a plan. I'll be okay, right back. Okay, I'm back. And I just put a little, a fine little ziggy zaggy line down, down that. And now I can glue this on and finish this up. So let's do that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. If I can get the glue to come out, come out, come out and play. All right. I will absolutely not leave all of my weird noises in the video. Huh. Well, maybe I will. Okay, let's see. I like that about there. I like the way that touches down. And we do the same thing here where those pieces kind of meet. And I'm just going to give this a Something behind that right there. There we go. Okay. Straight enough, about even. So I've got plenty of room in the middle here um, for this to be stitched into the book. And I've got my little piece here. I think I'm going to put this guy right about there. Oh, let's come down a little bit, right about there. Yeah, let's do it. And then this is almost done. So then um, I think I'm, I'm very close to being able to um, put my pages together for my signatures. I wanted to get some of these pieces that I knew were going to be sewn in, into, uh, done so that I could kind of put everything together and get a good picture of what it's all gonna look like. I do have, I think I've got a couple images, still some digital images that I found that will make nice whole pages that I just need to um, print out. So I'll do that. And I'm gonna come up just a tiny bit because there's this weird letter peeking out. I guess it's an I, maybe. It just looked funny. Um, so I'll do that and then the next I think in the next video, I'll be able to get the signatures together. And then from there, as I said before, I will, um, I will go page by page and decide, do I want a pocket here? Or do I want to clip something in? Or, you know, what do I want to do? Or do I want to do nothing? And I kind of like the idea of that showing, but that makes that too lined up. I really want this to be more over. Maybe like that. Yeah, I think that works. 
Um, then once I've done that, then I will actually do the sewing. And what I do is I put my pockets in and, and get a general idea of what I want to put where. And then I take that stuff out when I sew in my signatures and put it all back when I'm done with the book or as I'm finishing the book. I think that was about there. Yeah? No? I went further, didn't I? About like that. I think that works. I think I was lined up that way. Yep. Yep. About like that. Uh, so, there's still a lot of work to do. <laughs> Unfortunately, these, um, these books are time consuming. I usually take my time. I'm not usually in any kind of hurry to get something done. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here where the seam is. Um, because I want that a <laughs> little bit too much because I want that to lay down behind that label. I want that sorry silk to lay down behind the label. All right, so as it turns out, not much of my stitching is actually showing, but um, but yeah, nature of the beast, nature of collaging. You tend to, it's easy to cover things up and that's okay. That's part of the beauty of it. So, but there's still some showing there and that's still got a loose little kind of loose little foldy thing going on there. All right. I think that'll about wrap us for the day. I will be back then. Um, and there we go. I'll be back in my next video to finalize the signatures and the pages and the, the order that everything goes in and all that good stuff. And hopefully uh, we'll have sunshine. <laughs> I guess, well, actually, maybe it's better we don't have sunshine, right? Because then I don't feel so guilty about being inside and uh, at the table. Um, but there you have it. Again, you've got, there's a pocket here and a pocket here and a pocket here and a pocket here. And so then these, yes, yeah, see, that's that one that I glued too much. Oh, no, it's not stuck. Oh. And then these, um, this will sew into one of the signatures. And so as you're flipping, you'll see it like that. Made with a couple pieces of book page, a couple book pages, can't talk, thank you. Some scrap paper, um, some little die cut, you know, again, just some small pieces, paper, and two envelopes. And that's all she wrote. All right, well, thank you so much for watching, and I uh, bear with me. We will get this done, uh, so I hope that you stick it out with me and uh, that you come back for more. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.